Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about 6G, and I'm going to be talking about the five senses. So we have touch, taste, sight, hearing, and smell. In the future, users will, users will be able to have a more immersive experience where they can interact naturally with the digital world with the help of on-body devices such as smart gloves, skin sensors, and so on, and also implants as well. Finland, uh, Finland and Sweden have numerous people already have a, a lot of implants embedded inside their skin. Users will interface with virtual objects which often requires accurate positioning as in the case of dropping virtual ice cubes into a virtual drink and experiencing the virtual objects updates in real time with all the user senses. Can you imagine you're trying to sell to the public? And they're, they're not sure, like, oh, I wonder what that would taste like. So that's the new sales experience. The brain-computer interface device could further enhance the, the experience by capturing and securing sharing users' attentions to adapt to the network-rendered virtual objects. Networks will also aid in synchronizing between such objects and sensory stimuli beyond the, vision, beyond the visual, such as audio, touch, and, and so on. Furthermore, trustworthiness aspects such as the verification of user IDs to protect vulnerable users from inappropriate content and contact would need to be addressed. Which is really cool. So I wanted just to show you an example. As in this house here. This house is very important. As you can see, there is a ghost going through the house. So imagine this being your real house. And 6G is all connected. Well, this is what you're going to see. You can see moving holograms going through your real house. Which is going to be, like, <laughs> really cool. So, if you want to change the ghost to something different, you can say, Hey, I want to put this as random. Hey, AI, you choose which monster is going to be going through my house. Or you might be able to write, Yeah, I don't want a ghost. I want a wolf going through my house. And not only that, if they have a helmet and the BCI is connected into the helmet, you'll be able to feel through haptic feedback. You'll be able actually to feel the ghost or the wolf, which is really, really, would be really scary. So, I'm going to be doing more videos on this, but I did want to cover this one. They have the five senses, and this is going to be, uh, I mean, this is a, just a, a complete game changer. Alright, well, I hope everyone has a good day, and if you're a programmer, happy coding.